going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cyber Realm and today we're going to be doing some more SAOMD. Now, they released two new banners. Two banners that wasn't supposed to get released until the release of the second half of the Underworld arc. These two units are solo banners. So again, I gotta ask, is this a bait banner? Well, before we even jump into that, let's go ahead and talk about something that I really got a bone to pick with again with Bundai, all right? So we have Solus Shinon and Terraria Leafa. Now, Solus Shinon, because she's a sun goddess, you'd expect her to be holy, which in fact it is here, all right? Now, the earth goddess Terraria Leafa, naturally by the name, you'd think that she's, you know, either earth or wind, judging by her color, right? That's just generally how the color scheme works. But she's holy. She's holy. With a title like Earth Goddess Terraria, she is a holy element. Okay. I'm gonna give Bundai the benefit of the doubt and say that they really wanted the three goddesses to work together as a team. So if you had, you know, the goddess of creation, Asuna, then pair that up with the Terraria, Asuna, then pair that up with the Solus, Shinon, and you have a triple holy team. Fair enough. I'll give them that. But seriously, I, at this point, the algorithm is so complex that I can't even begin to comprehend uh, the process behind this. Yes, they want to keep the original image, of course, the character art, that's already been revealed on the light novels and on their promotional trailer, but, you know, really? Come on. Okay, now that we got the intro out of the way, let's take a look at the units. So, we got the... <clears throat> Goddess Terraria, or the Earth Goddess Terraria, Leafa. Now, if you guys have been following my channel's comments, and actually, sorry, my posts, I have already detailed these two units. So basically, Leafa is going to be your healer slash mitigator at this point, because what she does is she'll give everyone in your party HP regeneration. HP regen, keep that in mind. It's not HP recovery, so it's not an instant heal. HP recovery. Then grants your combination partner a mitigation buff well her and her the partner a mitigation buff that's right she'll turn your hardest hitting nuker into a mitigator with still the same attack power as before does that make any sense at this point i don't even know anymore i can give literally the hardest highest attack party member a mitigation buff meaning they'll take less damage they won't be staggered, their damage will be completely the same, in fact just even more spamming and without the problem of losing your combo now at this point. And then we have the Shinon, which is basically the DPS or the Nuker. Now I have confirmed that the SS3 crossing link, despite the fact that it didn't specify here, does grant an attack up cross link effect. Then, she also has a charge skill, which means you can hold down your SS3 button. Charge and release grants you double the damage upon full charge and costs no additional MP. So she's definitely going to be your nuker. She's going to be the hardest hitting person. And then you have HP recovery. This one is instant, instant recovery, so you don't have to worry about waiting to regen or anything. And then her limit break grants her guaranteed crits. So basically, she's going to be... Think, think about this for a second, okay? Just bear with me. You have Leafa, who basically connects into your Shinon. Then, despite the fact that Shinon isn't in, you know, uh, even if the boss isn't in a stagger state, you go into Shinon, then you hold your SS3 for three counts, then you release it, you get double the damage, you get guaranteed crits, and you have mitigation. So basically, after you finish your four combo spam and you go back to Shinon, you're just gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, as long as you don't overwrite the crossing link buff, you're gonna be fine. Th this is like, next level. I don't know why, but this is something really ridiculous. So let's jump into the stats really quickly. Shinon does have uh, a low attack due to the fact, well, not low, but like, low compared to other characters. Uh, she does have 4,300 attack, but you can, that's understandable because she gets double the damage with no additional MP cost on her charge skill. And then you have Leafa with 4,461 uh, attack, I can't read. And her HP is clearly higher, obviously. And in my personal opinion, I'm just gonna go for the Leafa because let me show you guys exactly what I mean when I say she gives a mitigation buff 
or she makes your character into a metagame. Now, what I thought was that the metagation is going to be short. That's how most buffs so far has worked. But no. She gives your combination partner a total of 30 seconds of metagation. Again, I'm just sitting here waiting for this buff to run out. As you can see, the buff is still on me clearly. The HP regen actually runs out first. Can you believe that? There, the HP regen is already gone. The HP regen doesn't actually last very long, but it does steal uh, it does steal heal basically your full HP gauge. About 80%, I would say. <clears throat> and yeah, I still have my medication. I can keep hitting at this point, and because I have accelerated skills, I can actually make this last a little longer than it needs to be. And uh, yeah, 30 seconds later, I finally came out of my medication state. But by that point, you would have recovered enough MP to go back in again. So it doesn't really matter, because Asuna, if you pair that up with Asuna, Asuna grants more MP to her combination partners. So you're gonna have this team of basically un- I don't even know anymore. HP regen, MP grant, critical, oh my god, I'm just- I don't even want to talk about this anymore. And, um, let's see, we go back to Shinon, um, but- yeah, that, that's basically what I'm trying to get at. The, this, if you have all three goddesses, this team is ridiculously unbalanced. Or overpowered, I would say. Even to the point of. So she basically rings down arrows from the sky and then a giant beam shoots out from the top. I don't even know why I'm lagging here. It's weird. Alright, yeah. So it's a short duration of attack link. We've already seen that before. It's nothing new. So... Let's take a look at the weapons, though. The weapons is something important, because now that weapons have the third skill slot, it's going to be very important, very crucial. So, MP recovery on enemy kill. Now, the Annihilation Ray. So, that means if you're up against a crowd, Shinon will be the best character to use. Because, well, that's simply the way the bow works, because it recovers MP on enemy kill. But, but during boss fights, you're not really going to use it that much, because boss fight only has one health bar. Well, really, multiple health bars, but you know what I mean. Only one enemy is standing in front of you, so it really doesn't do that much. HP recovery on successful parry, again, not going to be that important on ranking events, because it's... You're not going to want to take damage. It reduces your score. So most people would just prefer to kill them before you take damage in the first place. But again, these weapons, like, Leafa is probably going to be the most effective in full clearing events, right? So it makes sense for this weapon to have HP recovery on parry. And it makes sense for Shinon to have MP recovery on enemy kill, because if you're in the full clearing events, you're going to be up against a lot of enemies. So these two are definitely going to work well together. Okay, let's move on to the scouts then, shall we? So again, I already logged into my favorite town just for the purpose of scouting. And you can see I have 656 MD. And in fact, I can actually get more from the floor curling event, which just came back or re resurrected floor curling event that I still haven't completed. I've only completed up to floor 20, so I could definitely go for them more. Now, I'm going to go for Leafa first because I didn't want to get her. So let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 that hurts. That really hurts. I didn't even see a sparkle. I didn't see anything. Oh. Wasn't even close. Uh, earn Sacred Hacking Crystal, 50 included. Oh, okay, so they do have step ups. And it's a little different this time. Which is, you guarantee to get them on the fifth scout. But also, you get these uh, Holy Hacking Crystals for every step you take. My video just suddenly got clipped off. But I am back, so I'm a little disappointed by the fact that I didn't get Leaf on the one try. But again, there's still discounts, so we're gonna go for the step one on Shinon right away, as best as we can. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Mm, I don't want to see this, because it, it hurts. Okay, so we did get her on one try, because hopefully she's the only person in this banner. So it makes sense for me to get her. And, um... Yeah, I don't know why I didn't click skip there. I I, I, don't, I really don't know. I keep assuming that the first thing that comes up is supposed to be the you know the unit that we're looking for, but yeah. All right, welcome home, Shinon. I guess I got the DPS. I do still want to try to go for uh, Leafa if I could. And did I get another one? I don't think so, right? There's just another five star. Okay. Scared me almost. Oh, this Straya is actually okay. I think back when she was first released, at least. Oh, and I got a Yuchi on the side too. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So, I have around 400 gems, so that means I can go for Leafa one more time, and then I'll go for, I think, 250 would leave me with 150. I can still go for the weapon once, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's go for Leafa. Mm, come on, man! Why you gotta do this to me? You give me Sheen on my one try, but you don't give me Leafa. That's... Mm, that's... That's... Mm, just... Mm, mm, no, no, alright? Not okay, not okay. 
Uh, so since I did, I do have Shinon, I think I'm gonna go for her weapon instead of Leafa's right now. So let's go ahead and jump into the uh, the scout for the bow. That was that's that's the only logical choice. If I do get the bow here, which I do, that means the game really wants me to have Shinon instead of Leafa. Well, all right then. Um, I guess that's the way things go. Sometimes it doesn't really go the way you expect it to, but um, I got Shinon, right? <laughs> so that's gonna be the way it is. Uh, I'm gonna try to scout for more weapons if I could, because it really, once you get the character, you can use Almighty Hacking Crystals to take care of the rest, right? So it's not really that in impervious that you have to go for these characters. And you can go to step five if you want to get the guaranteed, which, if you've already gotten them before the step 5, then that means you get basically another 100 hacking crystals for them. So, that's definitely going to be good. If you're really looking to max limit break kind of everybody to get them to uh, the state that you want. The only problem is they're on separate banners, so you kind of have to spend separate MDs for them. And I know this because Bundai knows that if they toss both of them into the same banner, that means you can potentially get both of them out of one single scout. So they intentionally split into two separate banners so you'd spend more for them. Anyways, that's all for today's video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out!